Our mother, Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, one day she asked Abdullah ibn Umar, and we know Abdullah ibn Umar is the super great Sahabi. He's the son of who? He's the son of, he is the son of Umar. He asks her, what was the most amazing thing that you ever saw from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam? You lived with him all of those years, from nine up to 18, she was with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. From the age of nine to 18, she was with him. So what was the most amazing thing that you ever saw from the Rasul Habib sallallahu alayhi wasallam? What did she say? She, she gave the answer and she says, that sometimes the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam in the middle of the night, he would awake. Middle of the night, he would awake. So it's not your Fajr, Zuhr, Asr, Maghrib, or Isha, Salah. It's your night prayer. It's your Tahajjud, or Qiyamul Layl, or Salatul Layl, or whatever else you want to call it. It's that prayer that he's standing up for. And he would say to her, that, Oh Aisha, would you allow me to be with Allah? Would you allow me basically to leave the bed now, the warm bed? Would you allow me to leave the bed now and go and perform Salah? So she would say, Ya Rasulullah, I love you to be close to me. I love having you close to me in the bed, but I also love what you love. And so if you want to perform salah, then go and perform salah. And she would be in the bed. And how massive was their house? How many stories? Four stories or three stories? 20 meters by 50 meters. What was the size? Huh? Small, tiny house, subhanAllah. Some narrators later on in history, they mention, if you entered the house and you put your hand up, you touch the ceiling. You put your hands across some of them, you could touch the two ends, the two walls. Small tiny house. That's why Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, if she was lying down and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam went down into sajda, then sometimes she would have to move her feet so that he could go down into sajda. Back to the story. He begins his salah and he's standing and he's praying and he begins weeping. He's tearing, he's crying in his salah until these tears, they fall down. The tears fall down onto the ground. Prophet sallallahu towards the end of his life, he would sit and he would pray. And so he's sitting and all of these tears are on his lap. And he continues praying like this. Until it's the time of Salatul Fajr and Bilal radiallahu ta'ala an comes and he knocks. And then he eventually sees the Prophet sallallahu standing in salah. Some narrations, his feet were swollen. You know, many times we've heard this hadith. He was performing salah and his feet were swollen. I mean, subhanAllah, imagine that. Imagine that he's in that salah for such a long period of time that his feet would actually swell. Look at it from another angle. What enjoyment he probably found in that salah that he ignored that pain. He ignored the swelling of the feet and he continued to perform salah. SubhanAllah. And so Bilal says, Ya Rasulullah, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this to yourself? Allah has forgiven your past and your future sins. Why are you exerting yourself like this? Our Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Afala akunu abdan shakura? Should I not be a grateful servant to Allah? Should I not be a thankful servant to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Imagine he's doing all of that and he's saying, should I not be thankful to Allah? Should I not be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala?